I'm Mabel Ho Nays Padilio, and my profession is uh, artist. And yeah, artist. I stick to being a musician and always want to entertain people, connect with people. I'm a people person that I really love to engage in any community outreach, in any kind of entertainment that uh, you know gives good costs. So, mona siyang ako ang profession nga I felt that's my calling. Though I have some businesses, yes, but uh, my focus right now is really about um, um, the song that I have written with Mr. LG Fuentes and as well as kani ako ang pagpasundayag sa mga katawahan regarding um, how to be kind, how to be nice. So for me, that's, that's uh, my profession as of, as of the moment. Bata pa ko, um, according to my lola, because I grew up with my lola, Aliha uh, Niaz Nez Padilio, and um, she is very um, disciplinarian, kumbaga. And I always find myself in trouble many times because I always very, you know, lagan and always play with my friends. Now, I always sing and dance well, whatever I do in the, in the, in the shower, you know. Um, and I noticed that my Lola asked me to baligya saging and binignit and you name it, no, no, to the tabuan people nga na sa mga, mga biyahidor. So, sa pagkabata pa lang nako, na I know already nga ganahan ko music. And I love to sing, I love to dance. And, and my Lola, somehow, she's very clever enough to use that to uh, make sure nga daghan kay kughalin. And I did that uh, especially during Saturday Sundays. Nga walay, walay skwela. 
Then mamaligya ako saging, si ko kanta kanta, you know, you know all the Michael Jacksons before ingon ana. So that's how I started uh, realizing that I, I, I love music so much. <laughs> well, ang akong idol growing up, well, he died too soon. Is Michael Jackson? Um, he's the best. Actually, up to now, everybody looks up, up, to, up to him, even though silang Beyonce karon, Jennifer Lopez actually is my current idol. Um, the style nila, it's really, you know, giving the vibes and everything and, and um, reaching out to the mga teenagers and the adult and mature. So it's a wide range of kind of music na makarelate sa kadaghanan. So mona si ako ang kiidulo as of karon karong mga panahuna Well my dad my dad taught me how to sing my dad is very talented human being he actually taught me how to deliver the song and and how to you know project on song pagsaya on song pag kikiay sa tiil you know he always told me na muadto gani ka og og stage imagine nga muadto ka og boxing ring so, kung wato ka saka saka sa ring, imagine ko latahon yung ka. So, have to be very ready. So, it's like when I go to the to the stage, I always like okay, I have to do my best. Otherwise, you know, people will not like my performance. You know? So, that's how uh, my dad brought me up. When it comes to dancing, it's my mom. Okay, mayo kay musayo si mama. And uh, she won several times when she was, you know, in her high school, and I saw all her awards. So, that I got the best from both of them. My mom and my dad. Well, I started uh, in Tawi Tawi uh, way back, very long time. I was the one of the youngest broadcasters at Tawi Tawi, um, and I start uh, judging uh, sa mga contest contest when I was at the age of 11, and I won also my kanang singing and dance categories at Tawi Tawi at the age of 10. So, and then I transferred here. Uh, my mom is actually from, from Tawi Tawi, so the Ho uh, community there in Tawi Tawi. Hello, shout out. <laughs> and, then, and then I was brought here and I studied in St. Nicholas Academy. So, tanang mga taga Tabuan, taga Pasil, diha, mga kaniban diha, hello. Mo na sila, akong mga kauban sa una sa pagskwela, inana. And um, yeah. Ang akong pangbato during singing contests when I was younger, I remember a chain melody. It's my dad actually taught me. I have my own version of that song. And in fact, I won several times singing that song. And kanang I want to dance with somebody by uh, with Houston. Kipangkanta po na nako. Um, I don't remember so much doing another song. Not really. Katurang mga kanang mga kanta ha kay when I naman na sila for entry. So ang entry na ko normally kanang mga chain melody but when I do for the grand finals, kanahan jud ko nga musayaw ko and mo kanta kay most of the contenders mong good. They stand and sing and belt their hearts out which is very beautiful. Ang ako apod I make sure nga kanang I make myself distant with them I can dance look at me and I can sing and I can belt in anaba so yeah um very young 14 I think but I'm already earning as a broadcaster bata poko I was 11 years old as a tawi tawi so I'm already earning at that time and then uh, my mom and dad actually doesn't really need me to work but my genes love to work you know i can handle kumu trabaho for some reason i want to prove myself no i can really earn no using my talent so um when it comes to kanang acting um there's a lot of offers from you know different stations i started with abs cbn and then um katong amor seco uh, it was from Willie Cortez as well as um, Balay Sa Putyukan, which is a really hit at the, the late 90s. And, um, uh, but prior to that, I, I, get, I guess they'd start discovering me after 
my competition in guys in Gazzini Plaza. Gazzini is not around anymore, but uh, it was Gazzini Plaza, and they have this competition for the king and queen concert king and queen of Cebu. So there's a lot of contenders at that time, Tasca and Nina, and I don't have a partner at that time. It was was like oh, so man ako pag appeal because it's king and queen man, and. Somehow God knows that I'm looking for a partner and here comes this very tall guy. I really forgot his name, but he's a tall guy and he looks like Martin Yevera. It's like, wow. And, and I'm starting singing just by myself. You know, I'm, I'm singing the song of Pastor Fernandez and say, hey, do you know this song? It's like, yeah. I said, yeah, this is a duet and you know, we can, we can sing this song. And, do you have a partner? I said, no, I don't have. And then it's like, can you want to pair with me? Like, yeah, sure, I can pair with you. You're too tall. Like, do I have to wear a high heel? Like, no problem. You can wear anything you like. So they rehearsed me. It took like two hours. They rehearsed them because we met, we met on on the time of the contest. Kita as linya, so we had time. So they practiced me. Dito sa kilit kilit ng walay makaybao, and then we registered ourselves as as a duet. And then apparently, kasi Pops and Martin. God, they're sila mo sayo, sayo ba sila? And so gi kopya gina mo the way they do, and then it's not difficult for me because I sing and dance. So um, the audience, the the judges were very happy. I can't remember exactly kano sa tusha, but that was, I think, um, mid '90s. I think no, um, yeah. So this was the the it was in Cebu Coliseum. It was full house uh, when Pops and Martin were you know having the King and concert. Queen of 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 the Philippines, the concert Miss Musa, sa Cebu. So at that time, um, I offer starts coming in, and and you know a lot of gigs, and wala pa yung mga social media at that time. It's all the hardcore media, the Japan traditional media. Uh, it was very rigid and very beautiful. Tanawon nga naagid to at that time. So and that's how I started getting offers from from a lot of um, establishments and organizations. Well, yeah, about uh, the bangon sugbo ano na bugna na siya, and the good vibes na bugna sa na siya through sa ato ang kalisod sa pandemic. Um, you know, being an artist, it's uh, frustrating as it is na you're not able to, you know, like um, you know, reach out to your to your audience, and it actually the actually the hit of all the social media in Cebu when all the artists trying to reach out on Saon and then everybody goes to vlogging and everything so me I was not really that confident to do vlogs so I you know I spoke to LG Fuentes which really helps me a lot and he did a lot of magical stuff with me um, miraculously we come up with this Bangun um, Sugbuanun Pag Hit Gyud Sa Typhoon Odette that uh, was like a wake-up call you know like hey let's do something you know it's been two years Wala tayong buhat. Kung naamangani, it's also something that we can add up to what we have been doing. Okay, when it comes to reach out program or like donations or you know, you you tend to to help in kind. But how about this time? Can we help in a music, you know, artistic way? As an artist, we can you know resonate the good vibes. We can resonate, you know, an inspiration. To, to a lot of people now, I think they need it. And for those people who are touched by heart, they feel you know more courage and give them hope. Those are the people that um, um, really entitled of our songs. So you know we, we, we try to you know really pencil pushing everything like that, and, and we try to find a way to match the lyrics as much as we can. And if you don't have Corinthi, magpatay Corinthi mo sa gawas sa mawala. But that's what happened, and this gives us more push us to like release the song, you know, uh, as soon as we can. And luckily, I was so um, happy that Governor Gwen was able to notice my song, and she called me, and and it was a blessing for me that uh, someone as big as her position recognizes my song, and I've heard that she's playing it everywhere, and I'm so grateful for that. Thank you, shout out Gov, uh, the woman empowerment, Nana. And um, yes, yeah, so um, good vibes at Karon is I, after like now we have risen and we have like recovered. That's how I, I, I feel Ang, Ang Cebu City and the whole province are able to, you know, come up to the challenge. Na. Then it's time to, you know, change the beat a little bit and we just we release the good vibes. 
uh, apparently everybody have you know a good vibes feeling and we would like to kanang, ta, kanang to reach out to each and everyone uh, you know this song you know makes you smile makes you you know move your head and and you feel good about yourself and you just you know LSS the song and in anaba so um, I think it's a, it's a it's a very good result that we are getting and we feel so blessed Good vibes and everybody is singing it and especially the Visaya part, the rap part, which is really, really good. So thank you, Kayo. No, actually I, I had a lot way back in the 90s. Um Daghana Kuma Kantang Gisulat. Though I, I, I have not given the chance to meet the kind of person like LG Fuentes. Um, that able to really put my the harmony of the song and um, you know put arrange the song for me you know so he, I'm just very glad that I have him in my life okay sa una mang good um, I don't have that um, ability to kana magswat ako and then I will put my lyrics in ana yeah walay piano ana no but I have my guitar but I'm not really that good at it so record 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 and up to now I still have that song which I passed to LG apparently say LG this is what I created you know dugay na kay 15 years over 15 years na ni buhati ni siya kanta tingon ana so I have been enjoying composing uh, songs and even uh, adaptations of the song kanang if I heard some song like Mambo Italiano if I heard like Chili Chacha if I heard like like daghan kay mga kanta Nga mga from from the other countries and I say hi how about I make this um, a Bisaya Bisaya song in an Anna so of course you have to be careful nowadays because you really have to you know buy the royalties so watch uh, that's why I'm trying to reach out to some uh, recording labels to you know it's like if I can make some adaptation but I think now I would prefer um, though they may give me a good feedback sa akong pag apply I will still also consider to write really and continue writing original songs good nga wala shy kanang adaptation well my tv i'm here <laughs> go on um actually uh this is just the beginning of a long overdue uh, dream or to-do list nga amo ang akong gi pangandoy dugay na and it's just to create um nang concert for a cause na so, wala, wala, wala naman ang pandemic, so magbantang ETF, okay na ba nila, ana, so mga protocols, inana. So, um, ganahan ko nga makakreate og enough platform, um, mostly is, is for the good intentions, good, um, to, to reach out to the community. And now I'm doing my reach out on my own um, with the support of my team. And um, as long as um, people are continuing to support my vision, I'll be able to help a lot of people in the community, especially ang mga bata, you know, and the single moms. So ganahan ko nga kanang magpadayon anang diang dapita. And I think um, being able to uh, reach out sa akong kanta, um, music is so powerful. It's just say, ah, oh, that's just a song. No. It's really a song, and it can it can make people um, inspired. You know, it can make people happy and smile, and that you cannot buy. You know, that's something that uh, gives them happiness even in three minutes, and you loop it for 24 hours. So that's 24 hours of happiness. So muragin ana shaba, and then hopefully when we go to a certain town, uh, we go to a certain barrio, um, it's easy to um, to resonate the kindness. Going like, okay, there's. Um, a gift giving for everyone. So we have really lots of um, plans with um, the with my family and the rest of my team. Kung unsa un siya pag transform from um, the platform, not just the fame itself, but to have it in good cause. Nga makarich ota sa atong mga charity organizations, makarich ota uh, sa mga kanang rural areas, inana. So that's that's really one thing that I would like to do. My vision for for the music scene locally, I would like to take it international um, as as much as possible. Okay, the Cebuano artists are really promising. Um, there's so much 
goodness, as in multi-talented. I've been all over the, well, you can say all over the world, and um, just I just close my eyes. I listen to the voices of the Cebuano artists, and they're so good, really, really good. Nga kanang they can make their own song because you know, for we Filipinos, we can mimic. Muratag, we can sound like Whitney, we can sound like Beyonce, and all of a sudden, oh, taga Cebu day na win ana ba. So it's like, wow, imagine that, you know? Like, shout out to Morissette over there. Mga uh, inana nga klase gani. So once you just give chance to the Cebuanas to be part of the international music industry, they will really soar very high. And I believe on that. Kay I've been there and I know, I may not be able to ganaganing explain how, how you can go farther, but um, naaman sad tayong mga connections did too that definitely will be able to assist us kung naana ta internationally and and I think uh, if I start it here and then we'll be able to reach out internationally so mura bag na, nanay presidented bang nga nanay na itabo oh Mabel was able to do that so everybody can do it in Cebu so why not no in Ana so I'm really doing my best like support local so that you know the more the more everyone will support locals it's very easy to you know, kay daghan biya ka ayong mga export nga mga trabahante na to, OFW, you name it, no? So, imagine, maka-add to sa gawas ang kanta, and then napay daghan kay mga Cebuano nga maka, makakuyog pag yun, mag-collab in, in the future with me, and we'll be able to create also a label with uh, me and uh, LG Fuentes that is a collaborative effort na kaming duha will get a pool of talent to, you know, Put it international, yes. Okay, so sa tanga, tanang mga musicians, mga singers, mga fellow Cebuanos, kanang just keep doing um, what you're doing. Padayon lang yun sa kanta. I know sometimes people say, hey, I forget the music. No, keep doing because you know um, that is something that's in you. Not everyone can sing, you know, not everyone are given the gift to. To perform and sing sometimes you have to really exercise it so kanang can I just keep your hopes that's one thing you can never lose in your life just hope and practice lang yud and continue to present yourself out there make yourself known like when there's a contest join the contest it doesn't have to be if you win or not just join create your your confidence and see how people react to you and uh, you know get yourself involved make yourself seen kung na ay mga charity program you go there you volunteer and say can i sing you know you have to pwede ko mukanta and uh, i can i can dance and uh, you you speak out you know the artist should never you know you don't don't let yourself be in the background you can you can present yourself you don't need to get paid you know money will come eventually but and just volunteer yourself as long as you can, as much as you can, in a very artistic way. Nga maka, maka kita sila nga in any day ka talented ang in a particular Cebuano or Cebuano artist. So keep going and never give up. Yeah. Gonna 
Hands up high. 